Now, the first use of this architecture in AMD products will be in our Ryzen mobile CPUs for notebooks. So today, I'm very proud to announce the all-new Ryzen 7040 series. Now you guys know we always use CES to announce our new notebook products, and this is our next generation processor for ultra-thin notebooks. And it's the industry's first mobile x86 processor to integrate a dedicated on-chip AI engine, which we call Ryzen AI. It features up to eight Zen, core, Zen 4 cores, our latest RDNA 3 graphics, and our new Ryzen AI engine that runs four dedicated AI streams simultaneously delivering up to 12 trillion AI operations per second. So here is the all-new 7040. <laughs> this chip uses 4 nanometer process technology, and it has more than 25 billion transistors, almost twice as many as our Ryzen 6000 generation. Take good care of it, please. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of the performance. You can see that the Ryzen 7040 is significantly faster than both our x86 competition as well as Apple. In CPU intensive workloads like Cinebench, we're delivering up to 34% more performance for creators. In AI, we outperform the Apple M2 by 20%, while our x86 competition doesn't have an on-chip dedicated AI engine. And then when you look at gaming, we're more than 20% faster. So let's take a look at some of that performance in action. What we're showing here is a time-lapse video of the popular Blender rendering application. On the right is our top-of-stack Ryzen 7040 CPU with Apple's best in the middle and Intel's highest-end ultra-thin chip on the left. I'm going to let the demo go for just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so as the demo completes for AMD, what we see is the Ryzen system is 30% faster than Apple and 45% faster than our x86 competition. And this just shows you the tremendous overall performance. But it's not only about performance. It is very much about battery life. So with our 4 nanometer process technology, and frankly, our designers have been spending a tremendous amount of effort trying to optimize power across the entire design, the Ryzen 7040 series will enable more than 30 hours of battery life, which is just simply fantastic. <laughs> now, what I'm most excited about with the new 7040 is actually the Ryzen AI capability. As I said, this is brand new for us to integrate on chip. And what it does is it'll actually open up a whole new set of experiences for our users. Things like more lifelike collaboration experiences with enhanced audio and video. Um, think about you know, content creation being much more productive or gaming performance being more real time. And even when you think about security, we can use AI to change the way we monitor security. So, there's a lot of excitement in the industry around our Ryzen 7040 series. You're going to hear from some of our partners. But I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that the first Ryzen 7040 notebooks will be available in March. And we will have more than 250 ultra-thin gaming and commercial notebook designs spanning our entire Ryzen 7000 series portfolio on track to launch this year. All right, now let's move to the world of gaming. Do we have any gamers in the house? So you guys know, at AMD, gaming is actually in our DNA. We love gamers, and we're intensely focused on bringing the best experiences possible to the more than 3 billion gamers around the world, the majority of whom actually play on either PCs or consoles. AMD Ryzen processors and Radeon graphics are at the heart of gaming all over. When you think about gaming PCs from OEMs or DIYers, the PlayStation 5, Microsoft Xbox Series X and S, Valve Steam Deck uh, consoles, cloud gaming services like Microsoft's xCloud, 
And we're even bringing high-end gaming to cars with the newest generation of Teslas. In the last few months, we launched our new Ryzen 7000 series CPUs and Radeon RX 7900 series GPUs, which has been really exciting. But we know a growing number of gamers want to game everywhere. And today, we have a number of products to talk to you about on both the mobile side and as well as the desktop side. So let's start first with mobile with our Ryzen 7045 CPUs. The Ryzen 7045HX series is our first mobile CPU based on a triplet design. It's for gamers and creators who want the highest possible performance in a notebook. It combines up to 16 of our high-performance Zen 4 cores with boost speeds up to 5.4 gigahertz and up to 80 megabytes of on-chip memory in 5 nanometer process technology. So let's just take a look at the performance. Our previous generation Ryzen 6900HX series were already phenomenal for 1080p gaming. But what we're doing with the 7945HX is to take that to a different level of performance. What we're seeing is, on average, 24% higher performance across a range of popular games. And when you look at content creation and productivity applications, when we compare against our competition, those 16 Zen 4 cores are delivering significantly more performance, more than 50% faster across a wide range of applications that will enable creators to accomplish so much more with this notebook. Now, the 7945X enables a different category of mobile laptops for gaming and content creation, but we're also bringing new mobile gaming GPUs to the market today. The RDNA 3 that we launched in the desktop, we're now launching our first products in laptops with our new Radeon RX 7000 mobile GPUs. And what we're doing here, the first chip in the series, the RX 7000 series for gaming and creator laptops, is the new Radeon 7600M XT. And what we have here is 32 RDNA 3 compute units, 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and a configurable power that allows us to adjust for the best balance of performance and battery life across a wide range of system designs. So let's take a look at some of the performance here. What we see for these guys in 1080p, the 7600M actually delivers next level performance in its class, with 26% faster frame rates on average compared to the competition. Now, you're going to see these guys in the market very, very soon. So we'll have Ryzen 7945 and Radeon 7600 MXT laptops starting in February. And you'll see even more gaming notebooks coming later this year, including some new AMD Advantage notebooks. And so tomorrow, we'll be unveiling our first Lenovo Legion Pro Series laptops. And they integrate the latest generation of AMD Ryzen 7045 series and processors that you just launched, Lisa, to take gaming to the next level. And the new Ryzen 7045HX series bring fantastic best-in-class pro best processors to gaming laptops. And tonight, I'm very excited to announce that we are now bringing 3D vCache technology to our Ryzen 7000 processors. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is eight cores, 16 threads, up to five gigahertz frequency, and 104 megabytes of cache which more than doubles the cache compared to the Ryzen 7700X non-X3D uh, non version. And these larger caches are important, especially in gaming. But guys, as great as the 7800X3D is, I've had a lot of our fans asking me for even higher end options. So for tonight, I'm very happy to announce that we're also bringing 3D vCache technology to 12 and 16 core Ryzen 7000 processors. We've been working hard on this. The Ryzen 9 7950X3D is our first 16-core Ryzen processor with vCache technology and our fastest 3D stack chip ever. It features 16 high-performance CPU cores, boost speeds up to 5.7 gigahertz, and a huge 144 megabyte cache. So I'm very excited to announce that we will be bundling the game with our select Ryzen 7000 series CPUs starting later this month. We're going to have an incredible portfolio for you with Ryzen desktop processors. The new 7800, 7900, and 7950X3D parts will launch in February, and we're also launching new low-power 65-watt Ryzen 7000 processors and an expanded portfolio of entry-level AM5 motherboards 
that will make Ryzen the best CPU at every price point in the desktop market. We are very proud to be number one in adaptive computing, with 10 of the top auto manufacturers, six of the top seven 5G wireless equipment manufacturers, and more than 6,000 different customers across healthcare, aerospace, industrial, and other embedded markets that are using our products. Uh, having a multi-generational, scalable, and reusable compute platform helps Intuitive integrate the same parts across multiple product platforms. Uh, we've worked very closely together to integrate your adaptive technology. Handling multiple real-time functions concurrently with real-time compute and with low latency is key. And tonight, we are announcing new Vitus medical imaging libraries that will make it even easier for medical device manufacturers to offer high-resolution imaging at 1,000 frames per second or more. I'm excited to announce that um, we are now what's called 60601 certified, and that means we're approved to take into the operating room. The surgeon can wear it in. And we're currently the only AR device with this certification in place. In fact, the Senti AR solution is now under that standard review by the FDA, and we hope to see their software on our platform a little bit later this year in the market. Perseverance Mars Rover. Uh, adaptive technologies are used to help Perseverance, or Percy, as many call her, to navigate on the surface of Mars using object rec recognition and terrain avoidance. So they used adaptive technology for systems like engine controllers, for displays, for command systems. And the Orion capsule had more than 5,000 unique sensors, and that was just on the mannequins inside of the capsule. Fourth Gen Epic is truly the world's best data center CPU with more than 300 world records. It also delivers leadership energy efficiency that translates into the best total cost of ownership. Today, we're going to preview AMD's first inference accelerator. This is the AMD Alveo V70. It's built with AMD XDNA technology, and that's the same AI engine processor that we talked about with Ryzen AI. But it's scaled up for use in servers to deliver 400 million AI operations per, per second. That's 400 trillion AI operations per second. We designed Alveo V70 to accelerate multiple AI models, including video analytics, customer recommendation engines, while delivering just great compute efficiency in a small form factor. And I'm very pleased to announce that we're going to take pre-orders for the V70 cards today with availability this spring. Our Instinct MI300 is the first chip that brings together a data center CPU, GPU, and memory into a single integrated design. What this allows us to do is share system resources for the memory and I.O., and it results in a significant increase in performance and efficiency, as well as it's much easier to program. I am super proud to show you MI300 for the very, very first time. This is actually the most complex chip we've ever built. It has nine 5 nanometer chiplets that are 3D stacked on top of four 6 nanometer chiplets with um, significant HBM surrounding it, and it has more than 146 billion transistors. So I'm very happy to say MI300 is currently in the labs and will be sampling to customers shortly, and you can expect that we'll bring MI300 to market in the second half of this year for both HPC and AI solutions. <laughs> thank you for being such a great audience here in Las Vegas, and thank you to everyone watching online. Have a great night.